Welcome to the 2025 MLB season, our continuation of the Toronto Blue Jays Out of the Park 25 Sim. If you're enjoying this simulation, these videos, please do support the channel by going to the Patreon page in the description of this video. There's a link you can support the channel for, uh, you know, less than it was. People always go after uh, coffee. What's wrong with getting a cup of coffee, man? But for just the price of one cup of coffee, you can support this channel. Thanks so much for considering and get bonus content. Wah, wah. Uh, so Toronto Blue Jays predicted to go 84 and 78, uh, despite having Vlad, oh Jackson Holiday, and Juan Soto here. Ooh, Gunnar Henderson. By the way, Gunnar Henderson did win the MVP last year. I don't think I reviewed the awards in the last video, but he did. And Kevin Gossman won the Cy Young, by the way. Uh, Gossman and Cease are here. Man, if we have two of the top 10 hitters and two of the top 10 pitchers, I think we're going to do better than 84 wins. I sure hope. Uh, that's like four Mike Trouts. With one Mike Trout and one Shohei Itani isn't enough, but four Mike Trouts might be enough. Guardians expected to run away at the West. Yeah, I mean, look, our division's just good, man. Uh, Astros and Rangers, the class of the... Oh, I said West, Central. Uh, Astros and Rangers expected to run away at the West. We've got the Braves and the Mets, the class of the East. The, a dogfight here between everybody, basically, but the Pirates and the Central, and then the Padres expected a big bounce back here. What did they do? They were oh, Pauly had a monster season for them. Yeah, I mean if they have Pauly come on, then the rest did they sign anybody though? No, Ethan Salas is there. They didn't really do a lot. They did have the money to, but they did not do it. But meet our team, pretty similar to what we saw at the last episode. Kirk, Guerrero, Polanco, Martinez, Bichette are the infield. Ward, Varsha, Springer, Soto is your outfield in DH. The bench spots go to Reese McGuire, our captain, Barger. The, uh, the young guy, Schneider and Canna, pitching. No surprises here. Gossman, Cease. What's Cease's injury? Back spasms one day. Bassett, Barrios, Blackburn. Then we've got Romano, Swanson, and Miser, the back three in the bullpen. Then Cabrera, Pearson. Nate Pearson making the club. What? Danny Coulomb, Go, and Manoa back. Uh, so that's the club. Our player development, our system ranks 10th. We've got Tiedemann. Coming off the torn labrum in his shoulder, he's got three weeks left, but he's the number seven prospect in baseball still. Hagen Smith, the 20th overall pick, uh, he's probably ready to go at least to high A and might even continue his uh, ascent up the system. He's probably not quite ready for double A. Uh, and then uh, Namala, Rodin, Marino, Sterling, all also ranked in the top 200. Um, but that's the club. That's how we're looking. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into the season now and uh, see if your 2025 Blue Jays, led by Juan Soto, what we can do a big year for us as Vlad and Bo went to their final years of team control. We'll see what happens uh, onward now into the season. Okay, we're up to June first, which is the year that the day that I hold the first year player draft. We are in last place in the AL East, but we're twenty eight and twenty eight. I mean, we've lost six in a row. And we're one and nine in our last ten. We were we were looking good, and then we just like got buried by the Orioles, who've won ten in a row. Our run differential is minus twenty nine, so not great there. Uh, <clears throat> looking at the team stats, our offense is second in runs scored, pitching really struggling. We're last in the AL in runs allowed. We're towards the bottom in defense, so, you know, some things we could certainly fix here. If we go by WRC+, plus, K Dowdy is up. We've got, well, let me show you the injuries first. Uh, oh, Barger is now ready to come off the IL. He can go on a rehab assignment. He had a concussion. Uh, Bo Bichette has been out since April 11th. He's only played 12 games. He sprained his ankle in his platform year. That's a, that's a bummer for him. His demands have come down a little bit more. Starting to get into my territory there, Bo. So, yeah, so what's happened? Uh, Dowdy's been really hot. Vladdy's been hot. Mark Canna is going to get some full-time duty soon. Duty. Arelvis Martinez, good. Juan Soto started cold but has heated up significantly. Taylor Ward looking good. Turconi is up because of the injury. Uh, Dowdy and Turconi were up because of those two infield injuries to Bichette and uh, Barker that you saw. Blanco is good. Kirk. Uh, not not quite the year we were hoping for with his uh, eye jumping way up, but he is of a 17% walk rate and a 7% strikeout rate. 172 BABIP. Okay, so he's got a 95 WRC plus with a 172 BABIP. That's not bad. I mean, I know his BABIP rating is below average, but uh, George Springer struggling. Dalton Varsho struggling offensively and defensively. Reese McGuire struggling. Davis, Davis Schneider is going to find himself back in the minors once we're healthy if he continues this. Pitching side of things. Kevin Gossman's doing fine, doing well. Barrios is good. Bassett is oh, 
K FIP wise, but not really ERA wise. Cease has struggled. Manoa was starting for a while. He hasn't been great. You can see like nobody here in the bullpen has really been good. I mean, Miza and Go, and then everybody else has been below average ERA wise. So <clears throat> not great, Bob. Not great at all. So now we go to the first year player draft. We are going to pick 23rd overall. Let's go ahead and start the draft. Colorado is going to pick Ethan Holiday, brother of Jackson. Nice. Let's look at the first three. Oakland picks this guy, Caden Bodine. Oh, yeah, the Mets jumped from, like, number 14 to number 3, which is crazy. And they got this guy, who looks pretty good. All right, let's skip to uh, our pick and see what's uh, what's going on here. Scouting director recommends this college second baseman. I don't mind that guy. But let's look at all the college bats first. So he is apparently the top college bat left. Don't mind this guy either. He's further developed, but a pretty, not a very high ceiling. Got that guy, that guy. There's a 70 power potential guy. Lorenzo Carrier. I know him from a previous sim. Yeah, that contact isn't going to cut it for a first round pick. Here's high intelligence, high work ethic for a first baseman. What do we have for um, college starters? Let's check that out. Hate to go college starter two years in a row. Pretty good pitcher there. Low work ethic, though. Got low work ethic, low intelligence. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe Cade Curland is the move here. I don't love it, but it's fine. Sure. Just a year where there isn't, like, a guy that I'm real excited about. Um, you know, I mean, we could, I could have looked at, I guess, probably should have <laughs> looked at, uh, high school bets, but there's really nothing here. That's all that exciting to me either, to be honest with you. Like this guy's okay, but like these guys are so far away. Yeah. Just not a lot there. All right. Let's do a couple more picks. John Caston. I don't want to take a high school, uh, high school pitcher. Hold on one second. Draft hitter. All batters, Noah Franco. I, mean, I really don't mind this guy with the 65 range, and he's a possible two-way player. Yeah, let's draft him. All right, let's do one more pick. Justin DeYoung, 600,000 first baseman. No, I don't like that. Noah Franco is impossible. Who's this guy? Uh, pretty good floor there. Or, I mean, ceiling. Do you think it would be worth taking that has, like, really high range? Ooh, I don't mind this guy. The 70 range with that bat. I'm going to take him just for fun. He's a fun guy. Okay. So let me show you what else is going on just on the farm here. Tiedemann is, uh, he really hasn't been that great in AAA, but we'll probably call him up soon just because, I mean, our pitching's been bad. Hagen Smith is in high A doing well. Kate Dowdy, we already talked about. Namala, uh, not really doing much in rookie ball. Roden is doing pretty well in AAA. And Marino is in high A really struggling. And the but the the story of AAA right now is Jose Ramos a 236 WRC plus through 131 plate appearances that'll play. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I will talk to you the next one where we'll um, pick up with the trade deadline and see how we can continue to move these Blue Jays forward. All right, bye.